Actually, because this looks like absolute nastiness, it looks like chocolate milk. I'm gonna dump some of that water out. I'm gonna put some actually, I'm gonna put some fresh water in there. Probably make it look watch better. The algae too, or the moss. And, uh, oh my gosh. That's so nasty. Ew. Oh. Ew. Dude. Yeah, nah, nah. It's okay if there's a little, there needs to be a little bit of mud, a little pond water. Yo, that's just too much. Too much. Oh. That's a skew. <laughs> that's just a, that a giant, giant ball of like mush. That's disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna put some rocks on it so it stays on the bottom. Actually, that's gonna be. You, you need to wash it out first. That's so gross. There's, there's probably be... parasites in there. Well, there's definitely par. It's a pond. What do you expect? All right, I gotta get some rocks. Ew, dude. We'll come back here, weigh it down. Plan dumb. I mean, plan A. We're gonna put a couple of these rocks down. Hopefully, it'll, you know, weigh it down a little bit. I mean, it's not gonna. It'll be fine anyway. It's a pond landscape. Why am I not recording? I don't know. Cause I'm a good recorder. I'm dumping some water in that's clear. And uh Ew. It's gonna be murky still, like one hundred percent. Oh my god. Dude, oh my gosh. Dude, it's so murky. I have to do this a couple of times, bro. It's dude, it'll settle it'll settle out, like it'll be fine. 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 Dude. This is only one gallon, but... Ew, look at all this, like... It's one gallon. It's so nasty. Dude, it's so nasty. It's fine. It's gonna... It's gonna... It'll clear up. It's still clearer than it was before. I gotta hide this, because, like... Just hide it. Dude, my mom's gonna see this. She's gonna be like, what the heck? Ew. Dude, it looks... There's a... Ew. Dude, it's literally... By far the nastiest that's thing that's I've ever snail? made. I think that's snail. This is by far the nastiest thing I've ever made ever. Look how black that mud is, dude. Oh. Nutrients. Rich in nutrients. Oh! oh ew. Ew, all over your white <laughs> shoes. These are my work shoes. Dude, dude, rich in nutrients. You can grow a, a cactus in that thing. That is disgusting. Nasty. What are those? What is that? Here. No way my mom's gonna see that. That's disgusting. Look at that. Imagine what your mom would say if she saw that. Just sitting in your room. Dude, <laughs> that's disgusting. Another shot of that. Oh, yeah. Three days later, I come back. It's not chocolate milk anymore, that's for sure. But it's not exactly uh, what I was going for. I think I might just have this be a pond ecosphere. I don't know what you guys thought when you saw what that chocolate milk turned into that that pond nasty crap but my tadpoles ain't going in there that's that's a fact so we're gonna make something new we're gonna make something better and it's gonna be pretty sweet good news all good keep developing they're looking more and more like tadpoles and these upcoming days are gonna be a really good indicator about how that how they're gonna be doing it's day eight, and I was so excited when I picked up this bottle and saw how these tadpoles have developed. They've got their heads, they've got their tails. They're looking almost like a normal tadpole. You can see they still have some developing to do. Their torsos, their stomachs are still a little big, and their heads don't seem to be fully developed. But they are definitely on their way, they're thriving, and I can't wait to see them turn into toads in a couple of weeks. We're just chilling out here, day 10. Tadpoles are growing like crazy. Getting more and more defined features and it's also freezing outside so I'm shaking. So we're on day 10 and the tadpoles are swimming around like crazy and I thought, you know, it'd probably be better if they weren't swimming around in a water bottle. They got something something a little bigger to swim around in some more space. And so we're gonna we're gonna make a paludarium out of this jar. First off, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna put the pond water in here, we're gonna put some sand and we're going to fill it up with some clean water. I'm gonna use some reverse osmosis water. So that means the chlorine shouldn't affect them as much. Now you don't wanna use chlorine water because that will end up killing them. And I'm not gonna get pond water because that means I'd have to go all the way to the pond. First off, we're gonna take the sand and we're gonna put it in this jar, fill it up to where we, how high we want the sand to be. 
Then we're gonna flush the water through it so it gets all the dirt and all that crap out of there so the water is more clear when we end up filling it up with the water without the chlorine in it. So we're just gonna flush all this, the dirty stuff out so it's not disgusting when we put all the tadpoles in there. So let's get to it. All right, we're gonna put the sand into the jar, flush it through with water to get all the dirt out, and then we'll be ready to put the tadpoles in. Good to give it a nice uh, soft sandy bottom. We'll run the water through it and uh, get all the dirt and crap out of there and be clear. Viewers, my hair isn't always this bad. Alright, anyway, we're uh, see all the brown stuff in there? We're gonna let this drain out a little bit because that sand is full. That sand is full of stuff. So I bought it like three dollars fifty cents from like Ace or somewhere, and uh, I mean it's a, it's a big bag of sand, a lot cheaper than buying it from a pet store. A pet store they'll give you like twenty pounds is like twenty dollars. That's like thirty pounds for like three dollars. So you guys see it's getting clear. the volume is a little bit less because a lot of that was dirt that we just siphoned out of there so I'll probably do this again one more time and then it'll even if there's a little bit of stuff left in there it'll eventually get it'll settle down at the bottom heavy stuff will fall to the bottom and the light stuff will float up and the light stuff will be the dirt and the heavy stuff will be the actual rock the sand part Oh, look at that nice whirlpool flow <laughs> there. Good job. All right. So I got this water from our water filtration system. Um, it's reverse osmosis, contains an RO system, and has a carbon filter, so it should filter out all the chemicals and all the chlorines. So this should be safe for the tadpoles, and so that's what we're going for. Perfectly clean water. All right, I'm taking this turkey baster, filling up with some nice uh, clean water. I'll run it down the sides so it it gets rid of that sand, makes it nice and clear. These tadpoles, look, look how cute they are. Look at them, they're swimming around now. Really active. Don't worry, I'm not sponsoring sponsored by Propel. I just had this on me. Should have taken the label off. I should have. No free advertisement. No free advertisement. <laughs> if you want advertisement, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do me up. Cool beans. And I'll put them along the back, make it look a little better. Um, pretty simple. Just gonna place a couple down and uh, give them a little bit of terrain to swim around in. Pretty good right now. A little bit, a little bit, a uh, little bit of dirt floating around, but that'll soon settle out. We made this kind of rocky incline, kind of like a rocky beach, and it it looks pretty good, honestly. We're gonna put the pond water in there along with the the moss, and I think these tadpoles are gonna have a nice place to live. So it's gonna be a little bit awkward, not gonna lie, to put these guys in there because this is a giant water bottle, and it's not gonna exactly fit in there. So my plan is I'm gonna put my hand over the top turn it upside down and let them into the water as gently as possible. So here we go. Wow, I just dumped them in there. And they're going crazy. There's so many. It looks like a lot of them are attached to the moss. And some of them are swimming around, some of them are attached to the glass. But, you know, I thought I had this floating plant that I got from somebody of mine who had an aquarium, it grew too big. 
So I took a piece out of it and I think I'm gonna set it in there just so they have something to swim around in. Uh, more plants, uh, more places uh, for photosynthesis to occur um, to keep the water fresh and more places to hide and possibly a place for them to hop on once they get legs. So I'm gonna stick this in there and it's gonna be uh, good. Wow, okay. That's a pretty big piece. All right, it's been a couple hours since we put these guys in here and the water's cleared up nicely. And uh, I can't wait to see these guys grow and develop in here. I think we're gonna get some toes here in a couple weeks. So more update videos coming soon and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you feel like it. Actually, please subscribe, I need some subscribers. And I hope you liked it. If you wanna like the video, that'd be like lit. All right, peace lit. out. Thanks Jax for recording, hey, OG. Alright, peace.